What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft server. I don't know why I always call Minecraft server. Isn't it just Minecraft? But I've been saying that since day two of the Minecraft server. So I'm going to continuously call that by its name. And unfortunately, I haven't chosen a name yet. There's just been so many and so many hilarious ones. But it seems like that a lot of people really, really like Cat J Mac or Kurt J Cat. And I, I honestly kind of laughed at that, and I think I might choose one of those, but I'm not entirely sure. So what I'm going to get you guys to do is decide right now. Kurt J. Mac or K Cat J. Mac or Kurt J. Cat? <laughs> Leave a comment below and definitely, so I, so I can decide. And after I, after I get a name, I think I'm going to have him, I'm going to build a little house for him because, well, he's a cat. It needs a home. So I think I'm gonna build him a little tiny home and I'm gonna give him like a little dish and everything and he's gonna be treated very, very well. Aren't you little XJX something? Uh, but I really need sheep. And I know I've done a couple episodes here, but what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refortify my little milby box here. Whoa, kitty, no, come here. I don't wanna lose you. You come here. I don't want to lose you. Kitty. Kitty. Kitty! There you go. Stay. You stay. You keep the creepers at bay from here, okay? Good. Okay. So, I need some wood. Okay, I have wood. I have wood. But, I don't know. I'm, I, I need some wool. And not just for the monument here, but just, uh... Just in general, uh, I do plan on doing some stuff with the wool, um, mainly because, well, I, I mean, I think I told you guys I wanted to make like a little pause and pause logo inside my home here. I think that's enough right there. That's all I needed. But I continuously kept running into this problem where there was a wolf, and he kept jumping up, obviously from right here, and was able to get in and just nom the fuck out of the sheep. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build this up too high because uh, I'm really lazy and I don't want to remove that stuff from the chest. So, you know, might as well take the lazy route and hopefully this will keep everything at bay here because, well, I don't really want to deal with having to go get sheep every fucking time or every, every other week, you know. So, oh my god, that's not how you do it. But, I don't know. Today, I really... I almost skipped out recording, and I, I just wasn't feeling in the mood for it, but, um, you know, I, I typically talk with, like, good Beef and uh, Badge on a daily basis, and, you know, lately we've been sharing a lot of music, and I know Beef said his type of favorite, or his song, it was a Deftone song, I forget the name. But I'm not a big fan, and it's nothing against beef. It's just that's not my not my type of music. But you know, I I had a really really awful sleep. I'm one of the people who I don't know. I've mentioned this in the Black Desert before. I I suffer from um, oh my god, like anxiety disorder. Um, that and you know I I, I don't know. I just get uh. Maybe does that do it? There you go. I don't have to continuously jump. Um, but yeah, I have. Um, wow, that is not where I wanted that. <laughs> I am. Um, what is it called? I forget. I forget the exact name. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down. Oh god, one second. I gotta. I gotta remember what this is called. Wow, I blanked out and. It's because I'm tired, <laughs> and which which kind of goes into this. Uh, um, okay, that's that's where the fence gate is. Good. I have I, I I sometimes not all the time. I typically get like um, you know I get anxiety attacks and I also so I also get um, uh, panic attacks as well every once in a while. And sometimes when I don't get enough sleep, I I always get I always feel anxious like the entire day for no for no apparent reason like for some odd reason today i thought i was gonna get fired at work and there's no rational thought behind it but you know just as soon as i don't know it pe for people who are who have like the same um 
it's not really like a disability or anything, but you know, like the people who have the same kind of thought process and you know who who do suffer from like panic attacks and anxiety attacks and that can easily relate. And I don't know, what whenever I get those uh, type of feelings, I always 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 focus on the negative things. Oh look, there's a sheep right there, but I need two. But I'll, I'll come there you go. You come with me, little Milby. But I don't know. I've I've learned to deal with them. Like Typically, for people who don't know what they are, basically, I'll explain what happens to me. Other people um, typically might have different symptoms, but for like a typical panic attack, um, for me, oh, I don't want you. Okay, you come with me. For for me, I typically, um, I don't know. I, I I instantly start thinking I'm gonna not like die, but I feel like you know, there's just like impending doom is what it what what it's described as, you know and you can't get that thought process out I, I start shaking and I get a bit sweaty and all that and you know it takes oh, sometimes 15-20 minutes before that feeling passes and uh, I, I start feeling a bit more normal but uh, oh, that's gonna be rough I should shouldn't have came out here during the night but um, you know I, I've learned to deal with it I, I, I do a couple techniques where I basically like tense up my entire body and uh, my girlfriend actually is the one who helped me with this because I guess she used to suffer from them as uh, when she's in school as well. Um, I didn't get them until I was like 17, and I thought I was, I thought something was like seriously wrong with me at first because I didn't know what the hell was going on. Because I mean, when when you first experience it, you're not entirely sure what the heck is happening. And I thought I had I was like suffer from like extreme depression. Oh my god. Of course, as soon as I say depression, depression, it starts raining. But you know, for it's 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 hard to explain exactly how you feel. But like I said, if um, you know, typically people who do know what it's like can easily relate to it. But just impending doom is basically what goes in my mind. Um, you know, I always think that that I'm gonna die or you know something tragic's gonna happen to someone I love. Oh my god! But, um, you know, for some reason today, I, I guess I just, I kept waking up in the middle of the night and, uh, you know, I always thought someone was in my house, even the heart door was locked. And I guess it was just me being, like, really, really tired. And so, you know, all day I, I just been, like, feeling a little bit anxious and I'm, you know, it, it's hard to pass that feeling after you have it. But, um, you know, we were, we were starting to talk about music and everything and, uh. Oh, my cat just scared me in my room. Little net. Don't you dare take that out. Yeah! <laughs> but, um... Oh, snap. We were, we were talking about music, and, uh... Really? AI. I mean, smart AI, but... Stupid. There you go. I guess they just don't take fall damage now. But, you know, typically in our chat conversations, uh, like recently we're, we, we've been talking about like music in the past and, you know, obviously they have different, we all, we all have different music, uh, styles and everything. And, um, you know, I, I, am right now, typically I am in, uh, in a very electronic type of, uh, phase right now where I'm listening to a lot of trance and I mean, some people might notice that from my tweets. I, I do typically like a song of the week and lately they've been like all, all trance and, and all that, but, um, Today, um, I forget what song Baj posted, but uh, it really reminded me of, it, it, it went through like System of Down and, you know, I, I was talking to him on how they broke up and the the, the backup singer, I forget his name, they all have kind of weird names, except for Surge, that's a badass name, but you know, he went on Scars on Broadway and did his solo album, but they actually came back and did a little reunion tour, and I, I, I talked about this and uh, me going to Toronto, or Edmonton. And actually catching them live, which was like, you know, one of the things on my bucket list that I thought I'd never be able to do because they were on hiatus for a bit, but uh, they, they're apparently back. And I just checked out the Wikipedia today. Apparently, they're on reunion 2011 until present, so who knows? Maybe we might get some uh, system of a down in the future, which would be bad at because I mean, I love their old stuff, but I, I want some. I want, I want to see what they what they can do as you know time has progressed, obviously here, but. Um, you know, it, it got me really thinking uh, of the past, and, um, you know, I, I really am a huge fan of Tool, 
and uh, I've always wanted to see them live, but um, last time I was able to see them was uh, when I was living out in Ottawa. Or actually, no, it was here, but, you know, I, I'll, I'll come back to that. But uh, last time, I, it, it, was out, it wasn't out in Ottawa. It was actually out in Montreal. But my friend, unfortunately, wasn't able to get any time off. And, you know, I wasn't going to go to Montreal all by myself just to go see Tool. I mean, I, I love the band, but um, I don't know. Just seeing them al alone is just a bit weird. But, um, you know, that's the same thing what happened in Winnipeg. Apparently, they came to Winnipeg. And I, I really wanted to see them, but no one like I, at the at the time I really didn't know anyone, so I I didn't want to go alone. And my brother, he likes them, but he was uh, out doing a little summer job, so he wasn't able to get the time off to come and actually enjoy it with me. And um, you know, some people might know uh, Maynard. He did like a little, not like a solo album, but uh, he did a little different album, um, a Perfect Circle, that some of you guys might know. And they are my all-time favorite band and that got me looking in the, into old songs and uh, you know there's for some people there's like uh, I'll just bring the pin whatever um, for me I don't know what it is about this song but I'm pretty sure so you guys can relate and I'm gonna I'm gonna talk a bit about more of that in uh, just a little bit here but uh, it's one of those songs that really just no matter what feeling I am like if I'm like feeling down or you know anything like that I can just listen to the song and I'll just be fine again and I don't know what it is about it it's very mellow so it might not be your type of style but it's my all time and I, I told Bash this and you know it's not his type of music he says but you know I, I give him props for listening to it um so you guys might know it it's um Uh oh, phone call one second. Sorry about that. Um, the song I'm referring to uh, actually is The Noose. And um, I really don't know what it is about the. Like, I don't know. It's all how you interpret. Like, um, you know, I mean, obviously they have their own way of interpreting it. They, they obviously wrote for a specific reason, but I mean, like, you know, people interpret it differently. But it's just. It's so beautifully well done. Like I, I love Maynard's voice, um, and just, just with the, the music, man, it's just one of those. Even though it's really, really mellow, and you know, just to some people it might even be depressing, just because of the lyrics. But it's just one of those types of songs that, no matter like, like today, for instance, I, I started listening to that, and that's why I'm recording this because it, I kind of got, uh, it put me in a good mood and kind of uh, inspired me to talk about it, um, but. Uh, yeah, there's a. I'll definitely post this, the link down below. And I know Beef did this, so I'm kind of stealing his uh, idea here. But I, I definitely felt like I needed to talk about it. And I guess I can go back and talk about movies as well. And that, that got me thinking about movies as well. And uh, it was a bit redundant. I said it twice there. But uh, one of the movies that uh, that puts me in the exact same mood as like like the song where you know no matter what mood you're in you know sad depressed or anything it's just one of those movies that just lifts your spirits and mood you know and uh, it's Garden State for me and some of you guys might not know it it's uh it's not really an indie film or anything but it's uh it's it's really not well known um, but it ha it does have Zach Braff and Natalie Portman and I love Natalie Portman like, she's my favorite actress. She, no matter what in, except for Star Wars, I guess for some people, is amazing. And I don't know, I don't know. It's it's definitely a gushy film. It's like, a, it's it's a quote-unquote chick flick, but I don't give a fuck. It's awesome. And, and just the love story and how a guy is all depressed and, you know, he decides to go off his meds and, you know, experience life for once without uh, being numb and everything. And I don't know. If you guys haven't checked it out, I definitely highly suggest. I think it came out in 2005, but uh, the soundtrack in it, that as well is just it's, it's amazing. Oh my god! No! Cheepy, cheepy, cheepy! Come here! Come here! There we go. Come here. But yeah, that's uh, I don't know. If if you guys haven't checked it out, I, I would highly suggest that. Another. It's another Zach Braff. Zach Braff film is uh, The Last Kiss. That's a really depressing movie, though. But uh, I really enjoy it. It doesn't put me in the same mood. It's more of a sad mood type of film. But, uh, you know, I don't typically like to watch films that get me in that mood. But 
for some reason. It, it's another love story. I'm not the macho man that you guys might think I am. I'm just a regular old dude who loves, no matter what movie it is. If it puts me in a good mood, I don't care if it's quote unquote a chick flick or anything like that, man. I I don't I don't identify any movies like that or anything. So, you know, if you guys are with girls out there, I guess I could say, but mostly guys, if you guys are have the same kind of a uh, thought process as me, uh, definitely go check out those two movies and uh, definitely check out the song below and. Uh, you know, aside from naming my cat today, I, I want you guys to let me know what uh, type of movies or, you know, movies or songs that you guys listen to that, uh, you know, put you guys in a good mood no matter what. Because, I don't know, it's always, it's always cool to see what type of music put people in good mood. And, you know, back when I was in high school, like, not not, not, not like grade 12 or like 11 or 12, but like I was in uh, 9 and 10, I, I was like really, really angsty. Oh my god, I love that nose. It's starting to really come together there. Oh, but I used to listen to like a lot of Marilyn Mads and I guess that used to put me in the mood but I don't really listen to them anymore I mean I still like the music but it's just you know I'm, I'm, I'm past that teenage but uh, I know this is a really short one I just felt that I need to get some sheep in there I guess I could make them breed too I guess right and I guess twice it was in there but um, I don't know I'm really curious as to what you guys have to say you know does that like does any movie or film put you guys in that type of mood when you're feeling bad or down or anything like that make them love you sheep oh my god it's so cute ah! little milby little little milby ah! uh, but let's hope this freaking wolf doesn't the wolves come back speaking of wolves I think we better come come have some thought you know what we need some flowers over here as soon as we're talking about all being depressed, I'm not like depressed or anything. I'm just, I just need to hopefully get a full night's sleep because for some reason, it, it lack of sleep always puts me in that type of mood. And you know, typically I don't like to record, but like I said, those that just thinking about the those movies and uh, that 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 song I listened to earlier on today definitely, you know, just revived me. <laughs> it just put me in a good mood again. So I, I I want you guys to check it out and let me know what you guys think about that as well. But. Uh, I was hoping there would be some red flowers around here, but apparently not. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I don't really want to go running around for red flowers right now. Just for, I mean, it's vintage beef. I love the guy, but, you know, I don't... If I don't see any red flowers... Come around. I don't think I'm going to try too hard. Oh, you know what? I might have one in my uh, chest down below in the floral chest. Is what I, is what I call it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I took down the ladder. It was just... I kind of miss it because sometimes I get a little bit lost, but, uh... Yeah, I took it down. It was, uh... You know, I got my, my perspective there, so... That's what I wanted to do. Red flower, red flower, red flower, red flower. Red flower! Give me red flower! Come on, man, come on. Oh man, I guess not. I'll we'll place one right here. And we'll go check my floral chest down there, and hopefully I'll be lucky and have one down there. But I'll get my hopes up because red flowers, for some other reason, seem to just be rare. Speaking of flowers, I have the uh, the mobile version of uh, Minecraft on the the i my iPhone, and they have blue flowers on there. What the hell? Why don't we have blue flowers? That is, it was like a, it's like not like dark blue, but it's like a very nice light blue and it'd be nice to have some more flowers I don't know kind of kind of lame I guess but <laughs> I just thought there's a cool addition to the, the iPhone edition but uh, I'll leave it off by saying some, just have an asylum moment for vintage beef the dog I'm just mad I don't know what happened to you Peace out, Vintage Beef, the dog scouts. <laughs>